Basically, the project was born after a conversation with David Brown from the University of Chicago. He came one day and he told me that he was actually looking into open land and, um, and trying to figure out how much open land in, in the metropolitan area of Chicago and trying to find out how much of that was privately owned and how much was public owned. Two Chicago loops, the area that is available for, for new construction in the city. He was thinking how to develop a framework where you can start using that collective space in a way that is sort of intrinsic to the function of the space that you're creating. You get 13 stories in height and you get 50% density. And this is kind of the combination that I, that I have chosen for this project. But the whole idea is, is still a theoretical project because we're not really working on a site-specific situation. We're, we're kind of developing a conceptual framework, like he developed a, a urban framework, this is kind of an architectural framework. I'm very interested in prefabrication, ideas of modularity, uh, integrative design concepts that were important for me. And this building was not going to be the exception. So I wanted to create something that was very systematic, that was based on a module, that was repetitive, but at the same time, the building itself was the result of a very kind of strict set of rules. I wanted really that the function and how the building is organized is the generator of form. I wanted to, to blur the boundary of private and public space. I wanted that these boxes, these cells, these units, they could be operable, they could actually open at least in three directions, uh, in some cases physically, in some cases visually. Transparency was an important element to create this kind of continuity of space. The boundary at the end is just the back side of the shell, which is a C shape, which contains basically the few services that you need. In a more conceptual level, I think one of the biggest assets of society is knowledge. We're focusing too much on profit and image these days, and we're, we're not realizing that the most important thing that we can share as human beings is what we know, because this is the only form of true evolution. As we learn new things, this is how we can track our progress and that's basically the essence and the function of this project. I wanted to create a place where you can go and trade what you know in a very informal setting, in a place that requires no furniture, it has no currency. My goal was that you don't use any money here to trade for your knowledge. As you teach, you get credits and then you can use those credits in the building to learn something and this is how you pay for it. That's why the building is called KTC because it's a knowledge trading center and 234 because it took 234 of these units to build it. Would you like an appetizer? Was möchten Sie bestellen? What would you like to order? Motion sensors, temperature sensors. The preeminence of their culture through built access Mundi in the form of the chemistry, it's changing. And see data over a given period of time. And that way, develop domes and colossal sculpture, concrete, aluminosilicate, acid based concrete, build minarets and towers. Each is as much an expression of status as they are religion.